It was thought of in 1990 when I finished my the American convention and stopped in London for a few days. I thought this is the best opportunity to bring the entire European group together at one important place.
You understood? You all move this way. Come up again. So when you have, when you take your hand down, inside out, hand down. Inside out, hand down. Understood? Yes. And then, then, that's all. Trigonasana, you are taking. Yes. Okay. Now come up. No, no. When you come up, stretch here, inside out, and come up. Here, inside out. Understood? Go this way. Uh, now, Tadasan. Tadasan. In, tadasan. Inside out. Uh, this also, inside out. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is also. Now it says. Uh. <laughs> that means I, I understood just now. <laughs> Now when you come up, when you come up, you have to move like this. You have to get up from here. Roll. Ah. <laughs> while coming down, while coming down, this is the break. While coming up, this is the break. This leg does not work. This leg works to come up. To descend, this leg. Ah, move. Now, while coming up, you have to move that. You have to move. <coughs> Understood? Now do. So the teacher, everybody now and then, should ask, have you understood what is said? Have you understood what is said? If not, tell me what that means. And make it understand. And make it receive. And that's the end. Many people advise you to adjust breathing or make you to do deep breathing when you are doing the pose, deep exhalation, stay in that pose for inhalation, exhalation. What I said was, deep breathing brings physical tension. So it becomes a physical exercise honestly. Normal breathing brings spasm in the physiological body, hence a normal breathing is more effective than deep breathing while doing asanas. You understood now? So when you cannot hold a pose in normal breathing, can you hold a pose in deep breathing? <laughs> People teach. You come here. Do Trigonasana. This way. Go down. And now take a deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Look at his body. When he inhales, when he exhales, what happens? Is it remains stable or it also moves forward, backward, forward, backward? Then what yoga says? Chitta vritti nirodha. Everybody say, silence your mind, restrain your thoughts. What, happen, what is happening to him? When he does inhalation, his head comes closer to you. When he exhales, he goes the other way. Can you see now? Can you see? Don't look at me. Can you see? The body came forward. This muscle will tell you. Exhalation, it goes back slightly, you can see. It came forward. Can you see now? Can you see it went back? 
in exhalation, your eyes should be very sensitive, as mice are sensitive. Now, normal breathing. Can you see the leg stable, that leg? Yes or no? Yeah, now ask him to turn the head. What happened to the tongue, ask him? Little, I understood now. So he did not turn the head. So he said it is the middle. Do you, don't you say, turn your head up? Then what happens to the tongue? Everybody say, turn your head up, look up. What happens to the tongue? You look up with your tongue, not with your eyes. So that's why, ask him to do inhalation, deep. Now ask him whether the root of the tongue became thick or not. Root of the tongue. Uh, can you say yes, he said, can I follow now? Have you, do you study all those things? So it's forced inhalation. So all these secrets should be known. <laughs> Before you go to the deep breathing, my tongue should not move, my tongue should be thin, my sides of the tongue should not touch the jaws. If you turn like that, they, it touches this jaw. If you turn this way, it touches this jaw. Next. So, in the main class, you have to tell them, keep your tongue as it was in Tadasana and do the pose. Don't do the pose, don't do Trikonasana on your tongue, do Trikonasana on your legs. I can't, I can't follow the movement of energy through the, no, from the in, back leg into the front leg. Because his words also shakes like his legs. <laughs> do the pose. Now, now what happened? <laughs> see, again he is doing a wrong pose. Can you see now? Again, see, I, so these people think that they are very good. Lift here, don't drop. This should go down. This up. Huh? I'm not going to correct him many things. Let him learn this, then let him ask another question, how to improve this post further? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, you can see, how many years you have done yoga? Seventeen. Seventeen years. I'm... Now, why I did not say, can you see, is it perpendicular? Uh, now understood? So it takes many, many years to know. Now get up. Don't disturb. Bend your knee before you go to the pole. How much you bend? Uh, just wait. Can you see where this point is, where this point is? Huh? This is like a chair. Suppose I sit here, what happens? Seesaw. Huh? Uh, take this down. Down still. And now collect your hands down. With this. And now take the going forward and now roll this corner to this side. Without this, did I say here? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Huh? Yeah. This is anti clockwise, this is clockwise. And now what happened to the leg? Can you see how much difficult to do this square? And you want to know? See, the bottom cough muscle is up, the periphery is high, bottom is down. So how to bring this also in par with the inner bank? Now see, I will bring it. What happened? Huh? And you say, Mr. Anger hit her. Follow now? <laughs> That's all you know. My hit will give the mathematical calculation. Say, I adjusted there. I hit here. But how the adjustment came? Understood now? Great. <laughs> Hey, don't do Arthachandrasana, only Parivirta Trikonasana. What did I say? If you do not know Parivirta Trikonasana and Parivirta Parshukonasana, Parivirta Arthachandrasana will not come, I said. I gave you the base. Now, in this asana, this only turns. 
In many of us, it does not turn. In her case, this is turning. All people will turn here. Trikonasana. Some others can do. Jump anybody. No, not you. He heavy people, little. Huh. Same pose. Now, what did I say? Now, can you understand? So, you can compare. You, you can, very, they turn here, they can never turn here. Can you see? There is no turning at all here. Now, what I do, when you come up again. Now, this is one pelvic head. This is the pubis. This is another pelvic head. So, you should maintain the distance between here and here. here. When you go down, you lengthen here, you close here. Can you see now? And now, lengthen and then turn. Wait, I will come to you also. Uh, lengthen from the pelvis, pubis to the pelvis. Downward. That, this upward. What happened now? Now I will tell her also. This is the pelvic pubis, this is the pelvic head. Follow? From here, extend this way and then turn. What happens? You got it? So, combination of this, now they, it's not turning. Can you see now? This is not turning. You can see this is not turning. So combination of Privita Trikonasana is from here to here to rotate this. Can you see now? Move the socket still. Turn the socket. Ah, turn the socket. Can you see now? And now Parivirta Parsha Konasana. Bend your knee. Now do the pause. Now raise the heel, it does not matter for me. Ah. Now, did you observe? This automatically turns. Parivita Trikonasana, you have to struggle to turn. Now, you know, the, you, don't, you saw the difference or no? Stand up please again. And go to Trikonasana. Parivita Trikonasana. Can you see the size at least? Circumference? Ah. Now, Parivita Parsha Konasana. What happened? It became small or thick? Huh? It became small, huh? Now see, that also you don't observe. So when it became small, like Utta, Uttanasana, they become soft because you bend the knee. Now here, the turning is the waist. Come on. He, not here. I said turn here. Parashagonasana, what did I say? Turn here, turn here. Turn the, below the floating rail. Don't disturb this. This should remain as it is. Only with an exhalation you have to turn. The exhalation makes the muscles passive. Inhalation makes the muscles hard. Because they become passive, you can rotate better. If you hold the breath with inhalation, you cannot rotate. Empty the lungs, and then turn. Can you see now? You turn. Can you see? This way. So, Parsha Konasana, movement in Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana is this plus this is Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. Understood now? You ca caught? I'm using all the inner edges of that foot. So the inner side keeps its firmness. And the left side of the pelvis can still be coming forward. Now keep the head back. And you turn and bring the hand down. Keep the head back so that the left side of the ribcage can come deep in. And then the vertical stretch. Go to the right arm and over to the knee of the foot. It's very easy for this side because the pelvis should be going back. But the pelvis here is sufficient. So when we say we pull that side forward into the turn, can you see? So this, within the pelvis here, not the bicycle, deep in the pelvis, moves in, moves forward.
keeping the head back as you drop the shoulder blade to the outer knee. If it wants to go back, keep this coming forward. Bend. Her knee is bending. Hey, her knee is bending. You have to be fast. Don't think. Otherwise, I don't know, sir. I don't know. That's all. Don't say, what can I do? Now go. No, do the post. Turn the right off. Click like this. Like this. Like my foot. Uh, now go to the post. She know, which language she knows? Full post. What is, what is that language? German. 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 Somebody can explain German? Yes. Come up. Hey! Turn! Ah, now do it. And now ask her, is there a pain on the knee? No. And now understood? So if there is a pain, they have to do like this. That's why I said he does not. Otherwise it pains more and more. If you turn, there is no load on the knee. And the teacher says, oh, if it's knee, don't do it. But the teacher does not know how to help. Now do the other side. Turn. Just like this. Get the hand in. Now do. When the knee pains, your foot should be just like a ballet foot. If the knee pains here, now ask her no pain. Okay? No, she's, she also uses the word okay. I have to say okay. <laughs> you know, there was a lot of problems in, up to now because I could not visit all the European countries before. And I, this is the first time that the continental people, majority of them, half of them may be from the continent, and which is a really encouraging thing to know what interest they have in my method of yoga. And as they have come, I think it is possible with the cooperation of, these, of the people who were in contact with me for the last 20 years, and those who have come in contact recently, if they can build up a bridge between the two, I think uh, yoga will be the home subject in the whole of the continent.
Then, from my hand, I measure this mode. I take it. Can you see my shoulder cut? Cut? It's very extended. This is enough. So this is not. You can see only 50% of the time, 50% of the time. So this is not. Until they close. Now, can you see what happened to the ankle? She explained that she didn't go in at all. So, wait. Now you are doing one asana. This is a duck chair. Duck chair. You know the duck chair? <laughs> selfish. Learn to be little selfless. Huh? Service for self, service to self are all wrong. Service about self is yoga. Service for self is unyogic term. So you have to think, let me serve the others. This is the Guru. Wait, wait. Knee straight. This is the Guru. Can you see this space, all of you? Now, 
This is mental space. Go to the force. She should not touch, you should not touch. If you touch, you should know the leg has come down. Go on lifting that. Ah, understood now? The post came. See? <laughs> the committee members have given you crystal, white, clean crystal. <laughs> and there is no crystal. That's why you get what you call distortion. But crystal reflects very accurately. So use this as a crystal. See, she lost. Can you do it now? <laughs> you understand? Can we, as teachers, our first duty is to climb down to the level of the students, to their intellectual standard. And we have to talk to them in that intellectual standard. Then you have to uplift them in order to see that they get what you have also experienced. But don't go on from the top without giving the foundation. So your job is to give a perfect foundation and not the dry fruits which has no essence. Now we can enter here. Revolve the waist more than the arm. Waist should lead the arm. Arm should not lead the waist. Waist should turn. Along with the waist, the arm should go down. Look here. I am doing this. I am this hand. What you need to do? You go like that. Can you see now? Now this movement and this movement synchronizes. Can you see now? What do you do? So it is going back and you can't do it. So I, this is my key. You give the key to the clock. So I give the key for this needle to move. So I do here. Yeah? Can you see now? Come on, try. Put your toes. You must be knowing like this also, you breathe that up. Learn now. That is for stretching the leg. Come on, lie down. Raise your leg. Hold. Be in the back of the head. You have to hook with your thumb. Thumb. And now slowly release the bed. Bed, walk out. Walk out. Let's close the bed. Now don't drop the ligament. Ascend the ligament. Ascend the ligament. Hold the head firmly. Find out whether you can stretch the outer ligament. Maximum! Outer ligament. That's all. Can you see now? And now all good. Yeah. Yeah. Move the hands back. And now ligament of the elbow should move towards the knee. Ligament of the knee should move towards the elbow. Come on. Ligaments of the knee and the ankle. Connect! Connect! And now what did I say in the presentation? Create space on the back of the knee. Create only space. The pose will come. Create space. Don't move, only lift up. Ah, lift up. That. And now go down. And now Kapatasana. As much as you can, because no chair, that's right. Bend your knee. Bend your knee. Up, now turn back. Hands open. Give me your hands. Catch your hand. Okay, she got it. I had, when the convention was thought of, we had no expectations of anything at all. The only aim in my life was whether we could bring all together as a friendly family union. And I think I've succeeded from that angle. The second part is, I think I've created, as the convention is coming to an end, I think I've created to recondition in their art of practice, in their art of teaching, which may be a stepping stone for the future where they could all 
speak in one platform without any divisions. And that I have done this time. This is a very special plant. Can you see the leaf? Do you know why we are planting the vibrant cover? Plant? Huh? Because yoga demands a lot of vibrancy to master it. Without vibrancy, yoga cannot be mastered. So as that means the color of the blood, you understand that? So the blood circulation has to be shared in our system, filtered every now and then, so that it makes us chemically change. Like this tree not only removes the pollution to some extent, environmental pollution, we also have to do yoga so that the internal pollution also is lessened to a great extent by various postures. We do inversions, so we churn the blood. So purification takes place. So let us pray for the en environment cleanliness outside through planting trees and plants and yoga for internal environmental cleanliness. Before that, let us all... Today, this is the yoga 1993. I think Patanjali we have to remember. Because may this tree guide us as Patanjali guided us to practice yoga, that when we come here, we see the freshness of this. Let us remain fresh in our intelligence forever. All of you, pray before we plant. as tall as this tree grows. <laughs> the end of inhalation takes you to the seat of the core of your being. And And keeping that in contact, we are coming here. Do not move away. And as you are exhaling, the out breath which is coming, moment to moment, like a wheel, taste that, so that you psychologically, you remain in moment, though the breath is moving in movement. Cycle of time, the breath moves in the cycle of time but the intelligence remain in the state of non-movement of time. Some of you, when you are inhaling, your mind is that the chest has to puff up to the ceiling. No. First broaden the chest. First is broadening, then ascending order. Expansion, then extension along with the breath. The breath has to move to the side, through the windpipe, it goes down, then it spreads to the lungs on the sides. So that is the indication that you have to extend or you have to push the intercostal muscles which are connected to the ribs of the head towards the sides. So that the breath, like the river, when it joins the ocean, becomes broader and broader before it joins the say your inhalation should become broader and broader at the end of inhalation when it becomes one with the sea of the soul. <laughs> when she inhales or when you inhale, you have to keep an eye, intellectual eye here for it to dip down and then inhale. Dipping this down in here. This should not come up.
Have you done like anything there? No. No. Can you see without my teaching, without my any technique, how she got it? While in exam also, you have to maintain that this should is coming down, but not this. In inhalation, this part should be measured. In exhalation, you have to look at this part. We have no way. You can tip the brain. You have to block. So I will show from the block. Ah. When you inhale, you have to like a tiger claw, opening proteins. Catch the prey from there. And your eyes should be always looking here only. As you inhale, you should not go out. And this is the cheekbone. When you inhale, the breath goes from here. The breath goes underneath the cheekbone. While exhaling, the breath does not come on the same spot, but comes below the eyeball. Below the eyeball, the exhalation is here. Inhalation, gate is this. Exhalation, gate is this. Now, uh, which part you are inhaling? The part I showed up now. Yes. Huh? Ah. Inhale. This is the part. She said yes, huh? Because... Wait, don't wait. Now go. Mm, ask her. How you feel? Huh? Any big pain? Huh? Any big pain? Huh? Now can you see now? So what did I do? I, she is very strong. So even she is pulling, this muscle is pulling, not she. This muscle is pulling my belt. So every time I keep it. Can you see now? Not only I'm pulling, I'm touching this on the ground. <coughs> Terrific? Mm. Uh, now understood? <laughs> Sometimes we could put the belt like that also. Okay. Only on the top tip of the knee. Mm. Uh, still better? Yes. So this is a monitor, this known as guide, they have to help. Now see, the immediately the muscle moves. Uh, leave it. Just get up. Some... Uh, now do it. Uh, still she will say better. Better? Better than before? She wants to stay. Now see, I made the muscles soft. So they are locking. They should not lock here. They have to open like that. Then this moves. Okay? Now you understood? She's a nurse, she should understand faster. Right about turn. Uh, now do it. Ah. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Can you see now? <laughs> now every time you have to hold it, you have to move from here to here back. Ah, that way. How was she doing? She was doing like this. Can you see now? Eh? Ah, this is a collarbone. Move the collarbone towards the shoulder, shoulder towards the elbow, elbow towards the wrist, wrist towards the elbow, like that. The current flows outer arm like that, inner current flows from the inner arm to the arm pit. Follow now? This is this way river, that is that way river. They should meet here. Understood? Now turn the other way. Stretch up. Ah, now stretch. Ah. Now turn the muscles inwards. Inwards and then stretch. Understood now? Nah? Ah, now lie down. Hmm. Exchange. Ah, roll in. This way. Now can you see? Leave it. See the line? Hmm. So that is no nice. The shoulders are already once in our lifetime it must have dislocated. Now, we straight straight, now this is our pose. Mm. Huh? Mm. Understand? Mm. Okay. Backwards, you wait, backwards, be wide open. Now, turn you from high, outside in, from high, Outside, without moving your feet. Now, align your shoulder, your hip, and your knees. Shoulder, hip, and knees should be on the same line. Some people are going forward, others are going backwards. Try to correct, but stay stable on this side. And then, let your legs. And then, from your base, and only stretch 
front of the body. They should run parallel to each other. So make your back very long, your front side of the body as long. Now turn your legs, your thighs inward, tailbone in, and lengthen the inner side of your legs up to your inner hip. Lengthen the inner side of your legs up to your inner hip. Now the foot well open, heels back, toes forward. Bring your legs together. Legs, big toes to be touching each other. Come down. Come down. Sometimes, so that they may not go wrong, particularly the beginners, we just keep it and take this turn. We levelize from the pelvic head to the middle of the chair. We give full support. And now, only you turn the breast, the spine will turn. Do you see the action? There is no jerk. So this support controls the jerk and the smooth movement will come. No jerk, nothing. First we have to stop the jerk. Then we have to turn them, we have to stop the jerk. Like this she has to know all the poses have to be built up like that. <coughs> now, take a picture. Now you see, they, this is the sacral muscle. One is above, one is below. Can you see? So one is above, one is below. This is a sign. This is the after effect of the lumbar injury. So the lumbar, no pain at all. All problems will be here. Yes or no? Can you see now? So if we have to remove this pain, then only we think of this. Now what I do? I put a rope here. Bend your legs to the heel. Just bend your legs. Bend it now. Now stretch. Hold this. Now stretch. Now this is known as healthy traction. Ask her. Which eh? side? Now we will give the guy which side is row which is taking the buttons down, which is not taking down. Left, left is going down, yes. No, is it down in the level of the left? Just bend your legs. So you Same. That's what I wanted to do. Now what I do? I just sit here. Now from here. Squeeze towards the elbow, this part. Can you see the line coming? 
first visit i think has to be completely forgotten because i had never got a, even a chance to speak of yoga in this country it took me 5 6 years to create interest compared to that i say i've gone miles ahead and i think it is a himalayan success for me this convention <laughs> it has grown as himalayas grow I think yoga has grown to the Himalayan height through this convention. There is no more to say for me. You and I have met in the heart. So naturally you and I are one. It cannot be separated. I wish, as a senior citizen, I wish you all the best as junior citizens. And carry on the candle of yoga to be burned in such a way that nectar of health flow on the human heart.